نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I have some good news for you today You know that my teacher of blessed memory was Maulana Dr. Muhammad Fadlur Rahman Ansari Rahimahullah who established the Alimia Institute of Islamic Studies uh, in Karachi, Pakistan in 1964 and that was where I studied Islam under his guidance. Uh, I will be delivering a lecture inshallah on November 28th at the International Islamic University in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia on Maulana Fadlur Rahman Ansari, his life, his works, his thought. Uh, and we hope to be able to give you live streaming of that lecture on November 28th. So do please look forward for information on it, which will appear on my website, inshallah. My teacher of blessed memory wrote his masterpiece. Uh, you probably already have heard about it. It's the Quranic foundations and structure of Muslim society. And uh, that book was out of print and we spent five years working on it uh, to bring out a new uh, print of the book. Uh, everything that was written by Dr. Ansari has remained unchanged. There's nothing new in the book. But what happened was that in order for us to get a computer file of the book, it, we could not simply scan the book because it was done with a typewriter in the 19, 1960s. And the verses of the Quran, what we did was we bought copies of the Quran and I remember I was one of those who were cutting with the scissors and we get the verses of the Quran and we stuck them onto a page and then the photograph was taken. But now we have the technology for getting uh, the Quran uh, through the internet on a file. Uh, so we had to scan and then after that we had to type in by hand many portions of the book in order to get a computer file of the book. We've done that. Then we had to check to see it was all correct. And then we put in the Arabic text of the book with lovely font and uh, we increased the size of the font of the book and we increased the size of the footnotes. The footnotes were far too small, very difficult to read them. And uh, we now have, mashallah, a very beautifully printed book. In addition to printing the book in two volumes with a new cover design, you see it just now, we also got a lovely case made for the book so that the two volumes will go inside the case and this will give it longer life. Also added, uh, added, added beauty in appearance. It's a very tough uh, case, thick cardboard which is made, uh, used to make it. So my, my purpose today is to make the announcement that it has been printed 1,000 sets and as I speak to you, this room here, my sitting room is filled with all the volunteers who are here putting the books into the case and then and case, casing it in plastic uh, so that it will be preserved. Uh, the book is going to be sold retail. We're not going to be putting these 1,000 copies to bookshops uh, because we want that the entire proceeds of the sales of the book should go to the family of the late Maulana Fadlur Rahman Ansari in Pakistan. He was born in 1914 and he died in 1974. So it's been quite some time, almost 40 years now since he died. And our intention is that all the proceeds of the sale of the book should go to the family of Maulana Ansari. Uh, one person, I believe it must be Belgium or, or Netherlands, has already sent funds for 12 copies of the book. Uh, he, he bought it and I want you to give them away as gifts so that the money can go to the family of <laughs> Manan Ansari Rahimahullah. 
the Quranic foundations and structure of Muslim society is a landmark in Islamic scholarship of the modern age and I want to urge you to get a copy and to not just read it but to study it. It is a very important book and on the 28th I will be able to describe for you in greater detail why this book is so important. Uh, if we are to survive the present age of uh, test and trials, of fitna, of Dajjal. And uh, the Prophet ﷺ said about this fitna that we are now experiencing in the world, that no one else has ever experienced before us. He said, this is the greatest fitna that mankind will experience from the time of Adam alayhi salam until the last day. So if your brother Imran Hussein is correct and the evidence is mounting every day that I am, alhamdulillah, correct, that this is the age of Dajjal. That Dajjal is the mastermind of the modern world. It is from Dajjal that we have gotten this bogus an utterly fraudulent and haram paper money. It is from Dajjal that we're getting the electronic money which is now going to be replacing paper money and which is being used as a vehicle for the financial and economic exploitation of mankind and the impoverishment of the masses, particularly the Muslim masses around the world. This is an instrument of riba. Dijal is the one who has given it to us. If I am correct that Dajjal is the architect of the modern age and we are now living through the fitna about which the Prophet Islam warned us, then what are the implications? The answer is that you could only survive the fitna of the modern age if you stay firm while holding on to Allah and His Messenger. That's the only way. Holding on to Allah and to His Messenger Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam means holding on to the Qur'an and to the Sunnah. And holding on to the Qur'an and Sunnah means holding on to the guidance of the Qur'an and Sunnah in its totality, its comprehensive guidance as applicable in the world in which we live today. That is what Maulana Ansari has done in this book. He has given to us an exposition of the guidance of the Quran as applicable in the modern age and a classification of that guidance in its different dimensions and forms. And so this book is a manual for survival of the modern age with faith intact. Those who cannot even recognize the money in their pockets to be bogus and fraudulent and haram, how dare such a people look down upon this book? Those who cannot as yet recognize that the modern state which has come to us from European civilization, that the modern state can never be a substitute for the Khilafah, that the Khilafah recognize Allah's sovereignty, while the modern state recognize the sovereignty of the people, and the sovereignty of the people is shirk. And so when you vote in elections of the modern state, you are entering into shirk. The one sin that Allah will never forgive. Those who cannot recognize that and yet say they are champions of Islam would do well to pause for a moment and study this book by Maulana Fadur Rahman Ansari. Rahimahullah. I don't want to say more about it today, but if you'd like to order your copy of the book, you can do so by sending me an email. You can get my email address. Uh, from my website, I get about a hundred emails every day, 
So don't tell me you don't know my email address. You can go to my website www.imranhussein.org or you can take down my email address inhussein inhussein h-o-s-e-i-n at hotmail.com uh, Send me your order for your book. Uh, we prefer to ship it to you by sea mail because it's heavy and air mail can be expensive. So send me your orders and we'll try to sell these 1,000 copies as soon as we can and have the funds sent to the family of Maulana Ansari, inshallah, in Pakistan and then proceed to print another 1,000 copies, inshallah. I look forward to your emails and to your orders and I look forward to your joining us on January, sorry, on November 28th at the International Islamic University in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, when I'm going to speak on the subject of the Quranic foundations and structure of Muslim society, and therefore to explain and to describe and to analyze the thought of that great scholar of Islam who was my teacher, Maulana Dr. Muhammad Sallallahu Rahman Ansari, Rahimahullah. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.